Hello and welcome back to the fish locker. At the minute, I'm just sat waiting for the tide to ease back, so I can get down on um, get down on the worm beds and then dig some bait for today's session. Your harbour rag, they're like a browny orange colour, and they're quite soft. Now, what the best thing to do is, is if you can catch them a couple of days before and store them on dry newspaper and keep drying the newspaper keep changing it wherever it gets wet this toughens them up a little bit now unfortunately I would have liked to have collected these yesterday but when I, when I got up yesterday morning it was like Noah's Ark weather outside there was no way I was going out in that rain so we're just going to use them fresh from today now they are a little bit softer but they should be okay now, we've got about another half an hour before I can get on the bar so I'm going to walk down See in a bit. This is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for these little trails because if you follow them, that's where your maddies are. Now you need to be careful because they're, they're quite soft and fragile. Perfect bait. Now as you can see all I've done is I've found a patch of sand and I've just worked down turning the sand over that way. You need to keep your eyes out for this and then gently break it away. There you go. Now, coincidentally, all of these so far have been white rag, and I did find one lugworm. So, this patch of sand I think has just got white rag in it. So, I'm going to finish the end of this row. Maybe do one more and then we'll move somewhere else. You can see here, there's another white rag. And also you can just see, see here, look, a little bit of a, a lugworm sticking out. So we'll see if we can tease this one out of here. Things, you can walk out just onto any sand and start digging and you might catch some worms but there are little signs that you should look for to tell you that there are worms living there and this is one of them there. There. what they are is it's a worm cast now if this is the surface and this is underneath this little casting like that and there should be like a little bit of a hole on either side and what it is is there's a worm that lives in a tube like that so that is there and for instance that hole there could be there so somewhere between here and here there is a worm and so there are also other little casts like this that shows that there's a worm living down there so what we'll do is we'll try and dig up now and see if we can find it as you can see this is what we've managed to find quite a lot of white rag now white rag you need to keep them in a little bit of water to keep them alive we've got a few a few nice lugworm now they weren't the target but a 
found them anywhere. And these are your harbour rag. Now you can immediately see the difference between a white rag and a harbour rag. And like I said, when they're fresh like this, they are very, very soft. So ideally, what I would have liked to have done was uh, I would have liked to have dug them two or three days ago and kept them on dry newspaper to harden them up a little bit.